Before we go into it though, let's prepare ourselves for a festive feature type situation. <laughs> Japan and Britain, two separate cultures, half a world apart, linked by one thing, anoraks. Here in Japan, they call them otaku. The word refers to any hobby that borders on the obsessive, but this is Games Master after all, so there was one group of otaku I was contractually obliged to meet. Unfortunately, this meant getting up eye-baggingly early on a Sunday morning. It's midday on a Sunday in downtown Tokyo. Most of us would be asleep, but the video game otaku have assembled for a costume party where they dress up as their favourite video game's characters. I've decided to get into the spirit and I've come as everyone's favourite from Street Fighter 2, fat sumo bloke, Eddie Honda. These costume parties are a tragically regular occurrence in Tokyo. Hundreds of teenage punters shun the daylight and huddle inside clubs to get down with like-minded weirdos. Some people actually buy their costumes with prices ranging from four to 600 quid. The idea being to garner as much attention as possible with cash prizes going to the grooviest threads. Well, obviously in Japan, I am an enormous celebrity as well. And because of this, they've actually asked me to be a judge on the competition to see who's got the best costume. So I've got to look for a costume that's very big, very extravagant, someone who's put a lot of time and effort into it. So I'm gonna have a little wee wonder now. I don't know if you can tell, but this guy's wearing a pair of pants on his head. <laughs> He's got a, it's a pair of pants. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Top work there. Nice one, mate. Sorted. <laughs> I'm going to go and make sure that she can get in and out of her costume, OK? OK, this is uh, my runner-up for the best costume. Um, it's a lovely costume, but I used to have a carpet in this material when I was younger, and I'd find it a bit unsettling, but very good. very good. Yes, after hours of gruelling analysis and some costumes that were obviously from bizarre Japanese games I'd never heard of, I came to my decision and uh, wrapped my rapidly eroding credibility around me like a shield and took to the stage. Oh. Excuse me. Predictably, my newfound Japanese buddies didn't miss the opportunity to take the mick out of my strange foreign ways. Okay. Uh, I speak no Japanese. <laughs> Other prizes were handed out to people who took the whole thing a bit too seriously, but in the end, I went for the simpler, more minimalist approach. <laughs> Otaku partied long into the afternoon, but I, having met the girl of my dreams, did what any normal man would do. I gave her my holiday washing to clean.